Good evening, I'm Blake Salmon. We begin tonight in Brushville, Illinois, where a Tri-States veteran is one step closer to moving in to her new tiny home after months of being homeless. WGEM's Isabella Rossi has more on the local organization that has the goal of helping veterans and spreading hope one board at a time. Soon, a Tri-States veteran will have a home after workers with 2x4s for Hope started construction today on their first tiny home project in Rushville. Organizer Chris Lawrence says the veteran and her family will be able to call the house at 226 North Franklin Street home. They are homeless and um, when we told Tabitha that this was going to be their home, I, I truly believe that she felt that this was definitely a gift from God. Two by fours for hope is a global organization founded by Chris and her husband that builds homes for at risk and homeless veterans. And Lauren says many veterans need this kind of help. On any given night, there's approximately 48,000 homeless veterans in the United States of America and we shouldn't have a single homeless veteran in the United States. The tiny home was built with the help of about 100 community volunteers. Volunteer Melissa Jones says this is the fourth tiny home build she's helped at with two by fours for hope and she sees the difference it makes for local veterans in need. Our veterans have served our country to help us and we're giving them a home for the home that they've given us. Each tiny home is 576 square feet and is constructed using boards signed with hopeful messages for the veterans. It's communities all coming up, signing and putting their names and messages and blessings on these two by fours that are used in these walls. And that's going to be forever in this home to show every veteran that receives one of these homes. There's a lot of support that we have in our country. And with several other tiny home projects in the works, organizers say their mission to build homes for tri-state veterans is just beginning. Isabella Rossi, WGEM News, Rushville. Thank you, Izzy. Two by four for Hope veteran founders say the veteran will be able to move into her new tiny home next Sunday. They'll be holding a proper ribbon cutting ceremony on the 17th, where the home will be opened up to the community for tours. And